fresh we all whenever we go to market we want fresh vegetables fresh food And then why suddenly the word fresh became stale i really wonder probably it is the academy are to be blamed or probably the industry to be blamed well blame game cannot solve the problem but i'm sure if you are watching this video today you want to solve the problem right so this video is about what do freshers need in the year 2024 and beyond to achieve success in the biotech industry now to start with like i said the term fresh is something which always brings happiness in all of us if we by ill luck by chance we discover something fresh or we we say hey you are looking very fresh in the morning right so fresh is a good thing then why fresher is a bad thing to me it's not a bad thing in fact i have done both the things i have hired a lot of fresh candidates and groomed them to become experienced and they are working with me now and at the same time i am talking to a lot of hr recruiters hr executives hr managers of various biotech companies thanks to the ibom group as well as various other uh, companies startups and they keep giving me feedback so whatever i am going to tell you today is actually a feedback received from all the companies which has stopped hiring fresher or want to hire but face problems okay so what do you need okay that's something you should know now one thing is very clear if everything was in you then they would have hired correct so there must be something missing right so instead of blaming the company or the college we should know that there is something which we need to do so that our skills are commercializable okay for example i know how to hold a pen i know how to hold a microscope i know how how to hold a pcr machine but i don't know how to analyze the data because it was never taught right so there are various aspects of the industry which we need to understand now the hr obviously works in a biotech company and this biotech company is actually here to make money they are here to make money to their ceos and their stakeholders and the chairman or whomsoever it is the shareholders right so as a fresher if you can contribute to the growth of that company they are definitely going to reward you so that is where we have to find out so as a fresher we need seven to eight things i will try to draw it as a flow chart it will be easy for you the first will be technical skills now basically the foundation of technical skills is actually brought in during your college days right to when you are in college that time only you go to the lab in the afternoon remember and you do all that hands on thing right but of course it will be limited in fact last time i was talking to a student she said that one person does in my lab and other two watch so because we don't have so many equipment this happens right let me know in the comment section it has, if it has happened to you but yeah college is where the foundation of technical skills happen now the next thing here will be your dry lab skills so technical obviously but dry lab i am writing it sep separate because it is very important in today's era but under technical if you want we can always write it under technical also that's not a problem so we can have uh, various aspects here under technical skills let's write dry lab here okay so now technical skills dry lab another will be wet lab now what is wet lab what is dry lab i have already discussed in another video probably you can check that out but however i'll give you a brief introduction here wet lab is when you are playing with the chemicals dry lab is when you are playing with the computer okay now the third part will be data analysis the analytical skills okay if you are uh, doing the analysis right then only it makes sense okay analysis right so technical skills dry lab wet lab data analysis this is one thing you have to learn now many of you will say hey i have done this i have done that but do you have a mastery over it so that if anybody ask you any question which is a practical real world question can you really answer it right so under dry lab you have computational biology bioinformatics okay now why exactly 
The company is expecting dry lab as well as wet lab and data analysis from you only. Why can't they hire three people? That is where comes profit. See, the company is here to hire you and make profit out of you. That's how they work, right? And that, that's the truth. That's how every company works. So if they have to hire three different people, then the cost will go up, right? So that is why they want one person only should have all the skills, right? And there's no harm in because that way your salary will increase, right? So you have to learn lab techniques. Now, what are those lab techniques? Molecular biology techniques are there. We have a separate list which we can, you know, tag it below. You can check that out. So dry lab techniques, bioinformatics, computational biology, artificial intelligence, machine learning, big data biology, all of that you have to learn. Now, the second is very important is the knowledge of the industry. For example, this video, this is all about it. knowledge of the industry. So nobody is telling you how exactly the regulatory compliance works, right? So let me again draw it as a, so regulation, right? How things work in regulation. So regulatory compliance, you have to learn that, right? Then you have to understand the research methodologies. What are the research methodologies which is adopted? The R&D processes which is adopted by the industry. That you need to learn. And then you have to understand the current trends. What is the current trend? For example, I said AIML is the current trend, right? Bioinformatics is the current trend. So these are the trends. So first you have to un also understand the regulation, compliance. You have to understand the research methodologies, the SOPs, what the industry is following. And then you have to also understand the current trends in the industry, right? Now, if you want to follow uh, all the current trends in biotech industry, then obviously you are at the right place. You have to follow Biotechnica on all the social media channels. We keep updating you with the latest jobs, opportunities, exam alerts, admission alerts, and whatever you need for the biotech career, it is all updated on Biotechnica. So that's, yes, you can always check out Biotechnica for the current trends. Now, the third and most important thing will be soft skills. Now, technical skills in industrial knowledge, even if you have, but if you don't have soft skills, people will not hire you. Why do I say that? Because if you cannot convince the other person that you are worth their time and money, they are not going to talk to you. Because like I said, any industry is profit driven. One minute also, if they realize that you are not going to help them make profit, they're not going to be interested in talking to you. That's how industry works. So you're, if you're, you cannot convince someone that, hey, I can do this job. Hey, I have all of this. Hey, I have been doing this for several years. Hey, I have the relevant work experience. Then they are not going to take you. And this is where all of you lack. And most of the people will stop watching this video the moment I say soft skills because you feel this is something which everybody knows. No, they don't. Why do I say that? Because soft skills is not just English. Of course, English is the most prevalent language in industry, but it's not just English. It's about your communication skills, convincing skills, voice modulation, facial expression, everything is counted here. And all of that is missing in most of the freshers I interview. So they just come plain and they just speak whatever they feel like. No, you have to think why this person is asking me this question, right? And that is why Biotechnica has a placement cell and now we are conducting mock interviews for you. And uh, mock interview helpline will be live very, very soon. Probably by the time you're watching this video, it will be already live. So if that is so, you can check the description. So mock interview helpline and all that will be there so that you can understand why a person is asking this question, right? What is the secret, right? And then you can prepare better for this interviews. Now, the space is less, but I will try to pull in one more line here and write about networking skills. Now, what is networking skill? Networking skill is the religion you have to follow. If you don't have networking skill, then you are dead. Why do I say that? Because if you can't talk to a stranger, just, you know, spread your hand and say, Hi, I'm Shekhar Suman or Hi, I'm this. If you cannot do that to a stranger, you feel like I'm introvert. I, how can I talk to a stranger? That is the biggest skill. You make friends with strangers and make sure that they give you that job. And they would have given you that job even before they had the vacancy. Because you have made such a mark in their minds. And the best way to do that, LinkedIn, attend conferences, seminars, webinars, whatever. Be active. Be a part of the industry to become a permanent part of the industry. Right? So that is one. Now the next important thing is most of the places, nowadays when the moment a technical skill comes, you think, okay, I'll do a course. 
right? And that is where Biotechnica comes with a different picture. We don't just give you a course. Along with the course, we give you internships, okay? Industrial internship, that's very, very important. So the solution to fix your technical skill, industry, um, you know, regulation, compliance, and all of that, and your know, soft skills, is to actually do an internship. And Biotechnica offers hell lot of internships. We have so many internships that even we lose count, and even we post internships of other companies also on Biotechnica's website. So you have to join as an intern. Now, what is an intern? right have you ever bought a car i'm sure you've not but you whenever you go to buy a bike or a car or anything what do you do or a mobile you first take a test drive right you test it out you take the mobile you take the car or you take the bike you go for a ride and check okay how it feels is it worth my money correct the same way the company also wants to understand if you are worth their money so take up an internship, right? So Biotechnica has a Swedish partner along with that you can do. We have QuantumZyme along with that you can do. We have several IBM companies through where we, we can place you so you can contact our placement cell. So internship, right? So once you've done the internship, you get a practical experience of how the industry works, right? Because whatever I told you today, you will feel like these are all, uh, you know, may not be true. But when you do an internship, a real internship, you realize that this is the real thing whatever i told you just by doing a course is not enough so that is why biotechnica offers a course along with paired with internship so that you can go and go and do a real world experience of how the industry works right now apart from whatever i told you it's very important to understand the career path you want to take okay and probably you should ask this question on day one like what is the career path i want to do do I want to follow this to become a scientist? Do I want to go into regulatory affairs? Do I want to go into clinical research? Do I want to go into pharmacovigilance? Do I want to go into QA, QC? Do I want to go into bioinformatics? Do I want to go into AIML? Let me know in the comment section, what do you want? Because accordingly, once your career path is designed, then only you can go ahead and execute, right? Without a plan, we can't win. So that is where you need to have a career plan also. So. As a fresher, what all things you need, let me quickly give you a recap. You need the technical skills, you need the industry-oriented skills, you need soft skills, you need dry lab, wet lab skills, state analytical skills. You need to do internship, if not by a technica somewhere else, but definitely do an internship with us. It'll open your eyes. And of course, you need to design your career path. What you want to do? Do you want to just stay static or do you want to grow and become a winner in life let me know in the comment section what do you think so these are the pointers which were on the top of my mind but i wanted to let you know that whatever you decide biotechnica will always be by your side because at the end of the day if you fail we fail if you succeed we all win thank you so much for watching this video see you soon in the next one until then keep shining take care